How is it going, guys? My name is TJP, and welcome back to another MLB The Show 23 Franchise Revealing Challenge. So, we've got the Boston Red Sox in today's video. So, same rules apply. We'll continue to have these normal team rebuilds, as you can see down below in the description. And while you're there, leave a like, subscribe if you're important. Join the content, comment down below for videos, socials, playlists, second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you look at the content, be TJP. I cannot speak. Uh, that is how excited I am. I tried recording this video, and the game decided to just send me back to the main menu, so I lost all my progress. That's why I'm a little bit flustered. So hopefully this time the game doesn't decide to do that. That'd be great. Um, I guess with that being said, though, we're going to find out by going to gameplay. All right, so take two here of me trying to rebuild the Red Sox. Hopefully the game, like I said, doesn't crash. And uh, yeah, I mean, if we take a look at the team, see the lineup we got going on here. I mean, we got some solid pieces. Um, I might look to move... Where is he? I don't even know where he is. Is he even here? He's not even here. He's not in the lineup. Uh, league, league. Wait, where? If I look at the roster, where's Trevor? Trevor's Trevor, 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 A? He's in AAA right now. I might move him. I might move him at some point in this video because I feel like his contract's not going to be that good. So we'll see what we want to do about that. Um, I'll keep him on the team for now, I guess. Definitely need a better shortstop. Anyway, I'm Marcel Meyer. We'll see what we decide to do about him. First baseman, uh, Tristan Casas, he's there. He'd be kind of cool. I do need a better catcher. I mean, looking at the team, Reese McGuire and Jorge Alfalo, not the biggest fans of those guys. So we'll see what we could end up doing there. Also, Enrique Hernandez did not do really well in the sim, and he's an expiring, so we try to get something for him. In terms of our pitching rotation, I mean, I like Sale. We'll see what ends up happening with him. These other guys might end up moving. I would like to get a better relief pitcher. So we'll see what's out there in the market. Try to get some guys for the squad. And we'll go from there. All right, I'll just see what the Braves are going to give up. Ramil Tapia and Enrique Hernandez for Travis Darno. I feel like Travis Darno could help us out with our catching position. Um, I, I've had him before in videos. And he actually won a World Series MVP for me. So we're going to take him on. Thank you very much, Braves. All right, I think in this next trade, I'm going to do with the Angels here. I'm going to get Hunter Renfro and Tyler Anderson for Justin Turner, Nick Pavetta, and Adam Duvall. The uh, reason being is Turner's just going to end up regressing, uh, probably even retire after the end of the season. Uh, Pavetta, we can upgrade him with Tyler Anderson, and then Adam Duvall. Uh, he's an expiring, but so is Hunter Renfro, and I think they're just maybe slightly better. So we'll take on Hunter Renfro here, and uh, I think that's about it for moves right now. I do need a better shortstop, though. I don't know if I want to have um, Desi being my shortstop. It's going to be tough to, uh, tough, uh, personally, I'd rather have Trevor Story be my shortstop or something, or Arroyo and Trevor Story be a second baseman, but he's starting the season AAA, that's fine, I guess, in real life, you know, you know, injuries and shit, so, I guess we'll let that happen, so yeah, I mean, you can see the lineup, I guess, is somewhat pretty decent, if we sim to the reg uh, sim to the regular season, we just go there, and, uh, we take a look at the lineups, and, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I mean, I do like the moves that we made. I don't see us making the postseason this year. I can see us missing out. I think next year, if we could have a good free agency uh, in the offseason, uh, we can definitely make it. Um, I would like to get a better uh, closer at some point. So we'll see what ends up happening. Or, you know, better relief pitcher. Because I feel like Kenley Jansen, same thing. He's making $16 million. We try to free up some of his money. Because uh, there are some weird contracts on this team. So if we can get rid of those at some point, that'd be great. I'm going to simulate to the All-Star break. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, uh, we'll just see you then and look at the stats and go from there. All right, we're at the All-Star break. And you know what? We're doing better than I thought we would be. 46 and 45 on the year isn't too bad. If we take a look at the league lead, well, not the league leaders. I want to see that. The standings, I mean, we do have, we are four games back. Walker. I don't know if we'll make it, but we're, we're in the hunt, I guess, for the most part. Got a lot of injuries right here. But mostly to our, you know, depth guys in the organization. So nothing too crazy. How's the lineups looking? Verdugo's having a solid year. Rastanai has been great. Devers not too bad. Renfro's been good. He's been cold. Uh, Travis Darn has been good. Arroyo's been at eh. Dalbeck. Uh, Jalen duran has been struggling, and then Yu Chang. I definitely think I want to get a better shortstop. Uh, Reese McGuire's been nice off the, the bench. Um, and Desi, we're gonna move him. So yeah, there's a few guys I think I want to move. Also, Trevor Story is not even in the MLB right now, so um, I think it's just like, let's get rid of him because if you're going to be making that much money playing in the minors, I could call him up, but 
quite frankly, I just think it's better to just move him. So I'm going to do that like now and see if we can get something for him. Um, and that would be about it. I mean, I want to make a couple moves there. Pitching rotation, Sale not doing too bad. Anderson, Whitlock, Kluber. The rotation's been solid, um, except the, for the except for James Paxson. He has not been good. Um, Brian Bell has been struggling. Uh, Tanner Hawk has been pretty cool. Blyer's been solid. Honestly, the bullpen's been okay. Brazier's been struggling, though. Kelly Jansen, eh, it's been okay. Martin's been bad. And John Trevor, you know what? He's been really good. Can't be bad about that. So... Let's make a couple moves. I want to get off of Trevor Story's contract because he's just making way too much money for my liking. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Dodgers. We're going to get uh, Gavin Lux for Mendesi and Crook. Uh, I feel like I've seen Gavin Lux do some great things uh, in the sim, so we're going to take him on. Welcome to the team, Gavin. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Orioles. I'm saving a lot of money here. I'm going to get Bautista, who could be big for the bullpen, for Trevor Story, Kenley Jansen, and uh, Liu. Uh, so a good closing pitcher. He's out, coming off a nice year, so I like that uh, like that move for us. I think I'm going to do with the Rays. We're going to get Jose Siri for Alfaro, Crawford, and Geddes. Um, I do need a center fielder. Uh, I don't really have one currently right now, and Jose Siri's having a solid year, I guess. He's been on fire as of late, so we'll have him be our center fielder for now. Thank you, Rays. I think that's it for moves. Um, I like the team. I think we can be pretty solid. Maybe make a wild card this year. Uh, we've actually gotten off to a better start than I thought we would. I think we, it's possible that we miss out, and you know, hopefully next season we have a good uh, free agency, and maybe we can do something with our uh, with our team. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and we'll see how the team does. All right, well the team finished 77 and 85. We actually ended on a horrible losing streak, but could not make the postseason. Not a problem. Uh, again, I didn't have the highest of expectations this year. Uh, awards, we do have some awards. Hunter Renfro, Go Gloves. That's cool to see from him. Um, taking a look at the injury list, we had some guys on the list, a lot of guys, man. Bobby Dalbeck getting hurt, that's unfortunate. He was actually doing pretty okay, but unfortunately could not sustain himself. So, take a look at the lineups here, Verdugo, solid. Uh, Gavin Lux, it was all right, nothing too crazy. Devers, end of the season, kind of cold. Hunter Renfro, pretty good. Uh, Darno for a catcher, we'll take that. Uh, Tristan Casas, Tristan, 351, 22 games, wonderful. Uh, so yeah, nothing too crazy, definitely need some more bats in the lineup. Uh, I'm just kind of looking around here, Russ Snyder was really good, uh, so shout out to him, he's he's honestly been a nice, he's been nice, he's been nice, I gotta give him credit, get some hits. Uh, pitching rotation, Whitlock in the season a little bit cold, Sale was solid, Anderson struggled, uh, Kluber, and then Paxton. Not the too crazy there. Uh, Brian Bello uh, was not very good. Brian Bello. Tanner was good. Joely Rodriguez was all right. Uh, Brazier kind of struggled a bit. Martin struggled. But Felix Bautista was a nice pickup, though. 37 saves. And we're going to get him on a steal. So I love that. Uh, it's just so inexpensive. So we got to listen. I, I figured we were going to make it this year. Uh, we could have a big offseason. I think we could, uh, if we have a huge offseason here, we could make some noise. Uh, next, by early as next year. So I'm going to simulate. Let's see what we got. And who's going to win? It's going to be the Blue Jays beating the Padres in 2020 World Series. Nice. All right. Let's go on to the offseason. It's going to be busy. We've got arbitration, standard contracts, and a massive free agency uh, class. Obviously, the big goal would be to get Shohei. Uh, but maybe there's some other guys, too, on the, on the table that I might want to try to get. All right. So big free agency class here. A lot of guys that would like to try to get... Uh, <clears throat> Just looking at some of the guys in the market. Um, don't think I'm going to offer Reese or CJ contracts. I mean, I probably should. I could get Garrett Cooper. Garrett Cooper's like a little bit, probably be a little bit less expensive than both of those guys. Um, Brandon Belt. Ooh, he's coming off a really good year. Um, hmm. Well, we'll see. I do need a first baseman. Obviously, I want to get Shohei. That's the big thing. So we're going to get him, throw him a contract. I might throw Julio Urias a contract as well. Just try to get both of those guys on the team, see if we can get them. Uh, we'll throw Otani a 12-year deal, player option. Hopefully he signs that. I'll also throw Julio Urias a contract. See if he wants to come to the squad. Uh, he wants 25-2 mil. We'll give him 23-5 for 12 years and a player option. So if we get those two guys, that's huge. I do want a bat as well, though. I'm 
trying to think if anybody out here would be good at hitting. Uh, Rosario's coming off a bad season. Ian Happ would be cool. Uh, Hernandez having a nice, all coming off a nice season. I'm trying to just think. Yeah, we. You get those two guys. Our bullpen seems to be pretty set. Um, yeah, no, I think we're good there on that front. Let's just try to get. Yeah, we'll try to get somebody that can hit a little bit. I mean, Will Myers, I'll throw him a contract because uh, he's not going to be that expensive. We throw him a six year deal, maybe $27 million. We'll have a player option on that. And that's just another guy to have in, uh, in the lineup. So. Uh, and then, you know, if we could re-sign Hunter Renfro, one of those guys could, guess, could theoretically DH. So I'm not too mad about that. I think that's going to be about it. I'll throw a deal maybe at another guy in the bullpen that we might want to add. Maybe like a Daniel Hudson and throw him a deal. Three million, a uh, three million, nine years player option. So it's actually two. We'll throw him 7.7. .7, see if he wants to come here. That's going to be about it for moves. We'll see if we can try to make some trades if hope, if we can. Hopefully, we get one of those guys, maybe both. That would be fantastic. And then we'll go. All right, so big signing here. We got Julio Arias to the B on our team. That's going to be a great pitcher to add to our rotation. All right, I broke out the bank for Shohei Otani. We got him on a 12-year deal, $400 million. But welcome to Team Shohei. All right, I'm going to do a deal with the Yankees right here. We're going to get Garrett Cole for Chris Sale and Tyler Anderson. Um... I don't think I've ever traded Garrett Cole in this game yet. And if I haven't, oh, maybe I have. Look at the way I'm doing it now. Chris Sale and Tyler Anderson. Uh, that's going to be huge. Because now we have Shohei, Julio Urias, Ed Garrett Whitlock, as well as uh, Garrett Cole here. So welcome to the team. I uh, could have tried to get Carlos Rodon, but I'll take Garrett Cole. It works for me. He's pretty solid. He's making a lot of money, but that's a good rotational piece to pick up. I'll take. I think I'm going to do this with the Athletics. We're going to get Zach Jackson, Sale Angeliers for Yu Chang, Corey Rozier, and Willier Abreu. Uh, just a small move there to add to our bullpen, as well as getting another catcher in our organization. That's going to be it for moves. I'll see you guys at the start of the second season. All right, so to start the second season, let's advance and see what we got going on here. I like the moves you made. I think we have become a pretty gosh darn good team. Our rotation looks pretty good. I do need a fifth starter. Uh, that is one thing I don't have, um, but the top three are amazing. Get Whitlock as a fourth isn't bad. We'll see what Bellow can do. The bullpen is not bad as well. It looks pretty solid. I mean, there's some guys there uh, that maybe that we could look to, you know, kind of up, up. But, you know, Bautista closing down as a closer pitcher. I mean, that's great. Our lineups look good with Verdugo. We got Lux. Um, Otani. Um, I don't have... Uh, oh, yeah, Tristan's coming off the bench. Marcelo is still in the minors, but we'll see what ends up happening with him if he gets called up in September. Uh, but there's some talent. There's some definitely some talent here on the team. I think we can maybe, maybe make the postseason. Uh, it's going to be tough, but we'll try. We'll see what we can do out there, how, how this team could fare. I just want to show you guys know, I was in the recording, I was able to trade for Ronald Acuna Jr., and I was able to trade for Jose Altuve. I'm trying to see if I can replicate that for the video's sake. Um, so that's why I'm a bit frustrated, if it seems like I'm a bit tense. It's because I wanted a season where I had all those guys on, on my team, but uh, maybe. Maybe we could get him. Who knows? Uh, maybe he... I'm hoping Acuna has a down year, and then it'd be easier for, to trade for him. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to simulate. Let's see how this uh, team does in our second year. I definitely think we're going to be much improved and maybe make the postseason this year. All right, so we're at the deadline. 51-40, and 40, not bad. Uh, three games back of the Yanks. Uh, we're, we're improved, definitely improved. We do have uh, one of the wild card spots, I think, right now. or close to it. So, you know, I think we need to have a really good all, uh, post-All-Star break season uh, to make it injury list got a lot of guys on the injury list holy hell hunter renfro torna kelly uh, achilles 10 his season done so that's unfortunate uh brian bellows hurt um he wasn't even having that good of a year ah, that's tough okay so we have some injuries to deal with that's gonna be a little bit difficult uh verdugo's been solid gavin lux i've seen you do good things and he's not really doing that great i mean he's all right i mean 252 is not nothing to squeeze at uh scream at Devers got hurt. Um, 
of course. He's only hitting. He only had one home run. It's crazy. Uh, Otani's been good. Uh, Myers has been a nice pickup for us. Arroyo's been kind of struggling a bit. Bobby Dahlbeck's been very good this year. Reese McGuire. Eh. Jose Siri. Eh. Uh, Darno's been good. Um, Tristan's been kind of mid-ish. Russ Snyder's been solid. Yeah, I definitely want to get some more bats in this lineup for sure. Uh, but if we take a look at the rotation, I feel like our pitcher rotation has been pretty good. Otani's been not too bad. Garrett Cole has been on fire's way, decent. Julio Urias has been awesome. Uh, Whitlock's been really good. And then John, John Travers had to be pitching, has been pitching. I don't know if I want that. I think maybe, t I'd rather have Tanner pitch. And then, yeah, John, you could be a middle reliever. I, I would rather have that. Tan Tanner Howe could pitch. I'll let him, I'll let him start. He at least has 64 stamina. Like, I'll, I'd rather have that than uh, John. Uh, the middle of the bullpen is, eh. Uh, Martin has been all right, but Jolly Rodriguez and Richard Blyer have not have been good. Zach Jackson's been struggling this year. Uh, we got in the Oakland trade. Hudson's been terrible and Bautista. Not that great. The bullpen has not been very good um, at all. So that's that's a bit a uh, bit concerning. Uh, but let's see if there's any moves we can make. I, I chance I'm probably just going to stay put for now. Uh, wow, would I love Aaron Judge. I can get him if I do all that. But then I can't get Rodon on return. Oh, they might, wait, they have... They have Bo Bichette as well. Bo is pretty good. But that is not going to work. I mean, I could maybe finesse a deal like this. But why would I do that? That's just stupid. That's just dumb. So I'm not doing that. Um, I mean, I would love to get Alec Manoa, though. Ooh, man. I mean, I could if I throw in Shohei Otani. Alec Manoa is really good, but I'm not. I'm not doing that. We're not. We're not. We're not doing that. So let's see. I think I'm just gonna cut, end up keeping the team the way it is. But if I do make a move, I'll let you guys know. All right. Well, we made it as a wildcard team, 91 and 71, and we're taking on the Guardians in the first round. All right. Cool. So we did make the postseason. That's uh, pretty cool. I'll take that. Uh, 91 and 71, and uh, yeah, we're just able to slip in. Uh, looking around the league, uh, Astros and Braves each won 100 games. Nobody too dominant, though. Like, no 120 winners or something like that. Joey led the league in RBIs. That's cool. Um, that is pretty much it. Uh, Alex Verdugo, 296 average. He had a nice year. Uh, awards, we've got Otani winning the MVP. How about that? He had 279, 41 homers, and 126 RBIs. I mean, I'll take it. And he pitched... Pretty, he's a pretty good pitcher, too. So, yeah, Otani doing his thing out there. Congrats. Um, of course, he's hurt with a ligament. Uh, but he should be back, though. Hopefully. Uh, Renfro, done for this. Uh, obviously, he was done for the season a long time ago. But, dang, that sucks. <sighs> yeah. Eh. Can never seem to catch a break. The lineup's not too bad. Lux was pretty solid. Ended up being pretty good. Devers, good year for him. Uh... Dahlback was not too bad. Uh, Darno struggled a bit, you know, for a catcher. It's kind of tough. Tristan, 237 this year. Hmm, not that great. Yeah, Jose Siri, kind of just like a guy that we signed. I, I might end up moving him. Uh, Shay didn't even play this year. Dang. Uh, Rest Night is pretty solid. I like him as a platoon guy. How was our pitching rotation? Uh, Julio was great. Uh, we already saw Otani stats. He was good too. Cole, not bad. Uh, Whitlock had the season Cole, but he was good. Uh, we have Bello. Uh, Tanner was good. I like that. Uh, the middle of the bullpen could use some work. Uh, Bautista's not even closing. I would rather have him close over John Schreiber. Not to say that Schreiber's bad, because he actually had a good season, but we'll keep, uh, we'll keep Felix Bautista as our closer. All right. So we got to take on the Guardians, uh, who are a good, they're a pretty good team. So Julio versus Shane Bieber, uh, that is going to be really interesting. Now, can I double check? Uh, we need to add Otani to the playoff roster. Why is he not on there? Oh my gosh. Otani needs to be on the playoff roster. Uh, I don't know who else. Okay, yeah, you could go on the, yeah, you could go in AAA. Like, I'm not having Josh Winkowski on, not on the playoff roster. No, not over Otani. 
So, okay, Julio Urias versus uh, Shane Bieber. Game one, we win four to three. Okay, nice. Otani is back and he's healthy. Game two. So, Otani versus McKenzie, we win that one. We're going to the ALDS to take on the Yankees. Love that. We, make a, we made a move with them, took Garrett Cole away. So, let's see if we can be able to beat them here. Yankees versus Red Sox. Game one, Garrett Cole versus Carlos Rodon. We lose six to four. Okay, game two, Julio Urias versus Nestor Cortez Jr. We lose that one five to three. Let's, not tr let's try to get swept. Otani versus Chris Sale, former team, and we get swept. Of course. Because that's exactly what makes sense, right, game? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, how did we do in the postseason? Uh, Luck struggled. Dahlbeck struggled. Uh, Jose Siri struggled. Yeah, I got to get a better center fielder. Uh, looking at the bench, not nothing too crazy. Otani was good. Pitching rotation. Otani was okay. Garrett Cole struggled. Julio Arias wasn't that great either. He, he was about average. The bullpen was honestly not bad. Could be a lot worse. Didn't too much, not too much of bullpen saw action, but we'll take it. Uh, I mean, listen, we hit the postseason this year. That's promising. So we got to build on that. Uh, you know, getting swept kind of stinks. Leaves a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. Uh, Yankees end up being the Dodgers, so I guess taking away Cole and you win the World Series. Uh, so we got our third season coming up. Let's see if we make some moves. Try to improve this team. My camera's out of focus. Now it's back in focus. Wonderful. All right, I'll see you guys in the offseason. All right, so we're at free agency. There's a few guys I might try to go after here, um, but we shall see. I, I'm going to try to make a trade as well. I do need to make some moves here. I got to get a better center fielder or just another like, just a better player in general. Um, so I'm going to see what's out there in the market as well. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anybody that good, uh, but we'll see. We shall see. Um, I mean, I get Bo. Should I get Bo Bichette from the Yankees? I mean, I could. Bo is usually pretty good in the sim. Um, Carlos Correa making a lot. I mean, I could try to get Byron Buxton. I haven't gotten him yet, ever. Mike Trout, if I get him, I'd get him. But I can't. Can't get Julio Rodriguez. This is never going to happen. Um, never going to be able to get Ronald Acuna again. Like, I got so lucky with the trade um to get Acuna in the video that I did uh and you know of course it getting cut off and it's like I really wanted to see that team so badly but uh, unfortunately it's just not gonna be a thing all right well I'll see what's out there in the market I mean I do want to try to get a better <sighs> do I want to get a... do I want to get uh Pete Alonzo just another bat in the lineup I could. I could go after Juan Soto as well, but I think I'm just going to try to get Pete Alonso and then another pitcher as well. So let's see what's that. Let's see if I can get any of those guys. I'd be pretty happy if I can. And we'll kind of just go from there. All right. So I was able to pick up Brandon Woodruff for a rotation. That's another pitcher for us. I like that move. Um, I couldn't get Pete Alonso. That's unfortunate. I did offer Tyler O'Neill as well because I do need a center fielder. So we'll see if we can get him on the team. Okay, I signed Clayton Kershaw, and I'll tell you why. I think I'm going to try to move him in a trade or move a pitcher in a trade. I might keep Kershaw. We'll see. Uh, but we did get him on the team, and, you know, we'll see what we decide to do there. And I also to get Tyler O'Neill. I'm trying super hard to get, uh, and I know I'm, I'm really trying. I probably should have signed Juan Soto because maybe that would have helped me out. I want to get, I really just want to get him, man. I'm, I'm too locked in on, like, I need to get friggin' Ron Lacuna. So, I mean, if there's if there's something I could do to get him, like, I, I will do anything to get this friggin' guy. Um, so, if I threw in Kershaw, I don't know, who has more value? Kershaw or Whitlock? I don't know who has more value, but I'm going to try. I, I'm really going to try to get him. Like, I... It's, just, it's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. Tyler Neal's close. Like, this is so close. It's right there. It's right there, man. It's right there. And it's like, yeah, neither of those guys have enough value. I mean, I don't want to give a Julio Arias. Do I? To get Acuna? Whitlock is so close, man. 
And then it's like, I gotta get Marcel Meyer back because I want to keep him. Kind of thing. So, hmm. It, it's close, man. It's close. I, I'm gonna move... I think I'm gonna move Kershaw, though. I'm gonna try to get some pieces uh, for him. And we'll see. Maybe the piece I can get will be enough to entice the Braves. I'm gonna get Bryce Harper for Kershaw, Renfro, and Kavadas. Now, if I can't... It, it, listen, I'll take Bryce Harper. He's coming off a great season uh, with the Phillies, so I'm gonna do that. And, again, I'm gonna try to get... Because I've never... I, I, again, I don't really trade for him that often. Like, Acuna for Bryce Harper. Right? And then we throw in... I would get the job done. I really don't want to have to give up Meyer and then get him back. But that would do it. That would so do it. Now, if I could do it without giving him up, that would be great. I don't think it's going to be possible, though. Um, and I'm probably going to have to give him up. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give him up and then get, try to get him back, which should be pretty easy to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to give him up, which is fine. So, uh, unless I do this, and then get rid of David Hamilton, and then throw in Meyer. Nah, I'd rather not give up him and both. So, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna do that trade. So, we're gonna get, we're gonna get Meyer, but we're gonna get him back. And I'll throw in, like, I don't know, like a really bad player. Because if I could just get... Again, I just really want to get him, man. I just want to get Ronald Acuna Jr. on this team. So yeah, Bryce Harper, I know I'm using you to trade piece, but we're doing it. And I'm going to get back Marcelo now. I picked up t uh, Tim Anderson. I'm just going to flip him and Blaze to the Yankees, and we're just going to get Bo. Bo is in the trade finder. We might as well just get him. And um, I, mean, I still can't get Marcelo. If I can't get him, then it's, honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. It kind of sucks. I mean, I do want him. Uh, but again, he might even play. If, if I get Bo... Give him Bo, and then I yeah I can get him back if I do this. Yeah, I'll give him I'll, I'll give him Bo, I'll give him Bo. We'll give them a shitty catcher that I don't want. Yeah, we're gonna get Marcelo back. I, I was a lot of like back and forth, um, but okay, that's it. Um, so I got I got Ronald Acuna. I'm happy about that. I would like to get now I'd like to get Jose Altuve because I did get him on the team. So we'll see if. He's a possibility still, um, which he might be. He might be a possibility if I can get him on the squad. For Christian Arroyo, we throw him in. We throw Blaze Jordan, who hasn't really done much. And then Avi Hughes, or not even Avi Hughes. We throw in friggin' Jaron Duran, and we could get Jose Altuve. I'm doing it. That's it. I'm good. Okay, I'm happy now. I had pretty much the lineup that I had for the most part. So we're good. Let's go on to the third. Third season. Um, let's just show you guys what I got. So obviously now we got Altuve on the team. Um, that's pretty solid. Acuna now with with Otani, Devers. It's a good squad. I like this team. Um, we got Myers coming off the bench. Ref Snyder, who's been pretty solid for us. Uh, yeah, I, I like the squad. I think we, we could definitely make the postseason again this year for sure. Uh, the rotation looks really good. The bullpen isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, we got we've got we got a good we got a good shot this year. I don't think I'm gonna get any moves at the all uh, the All Star break either in the trade deadline. Uh, this is gonna be the squad. Let's rock it out. Hope we get everybody to stay healthy, and from there, we're gonna go crazy. All right, we're 62 and 31 at the All-Star break. The team is playing great. If we look at the injury list, who do you got hurt? Uh, Altuve, broken leg, won the two months. Uh, of course, we trade for him and he breaks his leg. Not having that great of a season, um, but dang, that's tough. Also, Reese McGuire looks like he's done for the year, which is tough to see. If you take a look at the lineups here, Travis Darno, okay, he's having a catch every day. Verdugo's having a very good year. Gavin looks decent. Been cold as of late. Ronald Cooney Jr. hasn't played that much because he's been hurt. So of course we trade for them and they get they get hurt uh, with my team. Uh, Devers has been really struggling this year, which is unfortunate. Tyler Neal's been solid. Team's been all right. Will Myers off the bench, not too bad. Ref, Ref Snyder's been great uh, in the limited amount of PT he's gotten. So 
I mean, we're 62 and 31, so I can't be mad about that. We do have the best record in the MLB, tied with the, well, actually not tied with the Dodgers. We have the most wins tied with the Dodgers. They've got two games on us because they played two less games. The rotations looked great. Otani's been fantastic. Julio Urias has been fantastic. Garrett Cole's been really good. Uh, Whitlock, not bad. I mean, the years of Ohio has got a great record. And Woodruff's been on fire, so we've been kind of struggling a little bit. Bell's been really good. Uh, the bullpen, for the most part, has been solid. Uh, more than solid, really. John Driver's been great. Felix Bautista, 34 saves, 1.93 area. He's been excellent. So, yeah, the team's been doing good. I mean, we just got to get healthy. Everybody's got to stay healthy. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to make the postseason, I would assume. Uh, so, I'm loving the team. The team's been great. Tani's in the outfield. Vote is an all star. Uh, and that's about it. Let's just uh, simulate the rest of this third season, and I will see you guys once I am at the end of the year. Went 115 and 47. Uh, to be honest, I think I'm cheating a little bit, but we could lose. We could still lose in the postseason to be embarrassing, but uh, we won the wild card, or we're taking on the win of the wild card game. Uh, team is ridiculous. 115 wins is absolutely a joke. Uh, nobody else. Uh, well, actually, the Dodgers are 112, so they were pretty good too. Uh, <laughs> Uh, looks like we're on a collision course to meet them in the uh, in the World Series. Who's the number one ranked team? If it wasn't us, who's got the number one ranked? The Braves, right? Makes sense. Braves are pretty good. Uh, league leaders: Garrett Cole strikeouts. Julio Urias wins twenty. Felix Bautista saves with sixty-eight saves. Sixty-eight saves in a season. Wait, single season save record? Is that? Did he break that? Single season save record. How many? How many is that? Yeah, Francisco Rodriguez did it in, in like 2008. He had 62. This dude had 68 saves. That's ridiculous. Tyler near triples. Alex Rodrigo hits. Charlie Tony base on balls. Wonderful. You see some guys up here with average. I assume Otani won MVP. Bautista delivered into the air. Garrett Cole Cy Young. He didn't win MVP. Okay, interesting. Mike Trout did, though. Nice. Uh, dude, Joey Menez is such a god, man. I love this dude. Uh, let's see. Injury list. Who do we got? Who do we got hurt? Uh, some guys. Tristan's hurt for a bit. He should be back soon. Reese McGuire. He's gone for the year, obviously. That's tough, but that's all right. We should be good. Altuve didn't have that great of a season. You know, I trade for him, and he doesn't do that great. That's fine, though. Uh, Verdugo is awesome. Acuna has solid year. Uh, you know, he missed some time in the beginning, but he's picked it up. Otani was amazing. Devers ended see on fire. Lux was pretty solid. Yeah, listen, the team's looking good. Uh, the bench is pretty solid. We called up Marcel Meyer. So he's up here. Uh, and I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. The team's looking great. Pitching rotation. Otani was fantastic. Julieris was amazing. Garrett Cole was amazing, Whitlock was really good, and Woodruff not too bad, the record, but the ER is just a bit too high, my liking. Uh, hopefully we won't see too much of you, Josh, because you're not very good, uh, but everybody else seemed lights out, so. Man, this is our year to lose. This is our year to win, but if we lose, man, I swear, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, wanna see what we got going on over here, so if I take a look at our playoff roster, uh, Chris Martin... Do I want to send him down? Does anybody, who do I really want to send down? Honestly, the bullpen's really good. I don't want to send anybody down the bullpen. Uh, you know what? I'll send you down. Remove you from the playoff roster. So we'll add... We will add... Tristan. Oh, he's on the playoff roster. You know what? All right, we're good. We're good. I just wanted to make sure he was on there. Who are we taking on? The White Sox. Makes sense. Otani versus Cease. How many games did the White Sox win? 88. All right. The Battle of the Sox. Which Sox is better, the red or the white? Let's find out. Game one, Otani versus Dylan Cease. We lose 4-1. to one. Okay. Game two, Rios versus Kopech. We lose 7-2. to two. Please don't blow it. Don't lose to the White Sox. Cole versus Montgomery. We win 5 nothing. Perfect. No. Okay. Game four, Whitlock versus Clevenger. And we choke. Nice. Okay. So you tell me we win 115 games and we lose in the postseason. Love that. Absolutely love that. Wow, man, that's embarrassing. Verdugo didn't hit that great. O'Neal struggled. Honestly, the hitting wasn't even that bad. 
for some guys. Mar Ma uh, Marcelo 0 for 3. Tani didn't do that good on, at the plate either. <sighs> That's tough, man. The pitching, Whitlock struggled. Tani was really good. Uh, Julio struggled. Gar uh, Garrett Cole was amazing, though. Uh, Bella was terrible. Jackson was terrible. And other than that, really nobody else pitched. Hudson was good. Well, we choked this season away. I could say that. Um, we got two more years, though. Braves beat the Astros in the World Series. We got two more seasons. Let's see. Um, I, I would assume we'll be good in their next two years, but we just got to be better in the postseason next year because that was pretty bad. All right, so heading to free agency, nothing too crazy here. I mean, I would like to get a better catcher. I mean, Will Smith would be awesome. Uh, JT Real Muto did not, did not come off a good season. Christian Vasquez maybe has been good this entire time, so we could throw him a deal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I do need a better catcher here. Uh, so, we'll throw, yeah, we'll throw Christian Vasquez a contract, give him an everyday roll, bring him back to Boston. But yeah, there's not really gonna be too much, uh, too much moves there outside of that. I mean, maybe we could sign him, get get better there. I mean, I'm looking at the rest of the roster. I mean, first baseman, and we just, I guess we could just keep Bobby. Bobby's been pretty good. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, sign maybe another third baseman. If there's anybody good out there, and then if we just try to get another like bullpen guy. I could get Luis Rios, who's pretty solid. Um, or like someone like Suarez who can just kind of come up bench or uh, John Scoop, uh, maybe Yohan could work as well. So I'll throw Yohan a contract, give him a three-year deal, 21 million. And I think that would be about it. And even then, I don't think I can afford him. So yeah, uh, we'll see if we can get some of those guys, just some minor moves and we'll go from there. I definitely want Vasquez. I, I need a catcher. I'm prioritizing the catcher. So the start of the fourth season, and I mean, our team's looking pretty good if we look at the lineup. I mean, I, I like the squad. I think, again, we were awesome last year. We did get Vasquez as will be our new starting catcher, which means Darno will come off the bench, which I'm fine with that. Obviously, Will Myers, he's capable. Sorry, Marcelo's up here full-time, which is pretty sweet. Um, I guess they sent down Tristan for some reason. I would prefer to have him up here, but I guess because we did get Ronconda. Um, I, I'd rather, yeah, no. Can we get Emmanuel Valdez off the team? <laughs> like, no, call up, call up Mr. Mr. Tristan to the MLB and we will remove Mr. Mr. Valdez moving to AAA. Okay, optional waivers, I guess. I guess we can move up somebody from AA to AAA or... I don't know. I want to move some down to AAA to AA. That's fine. All right, we'll keep it as is. I like the team. I want Tristan up here, so maybe he gets some PT. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, but I like the squad. I think we'd be good. Look at the pitcher rotation. I mean, it looks good on paper. The bullpen is not bad. We also picked up Yancy Almonte, who's coming off a nice season. Uh, so, yeah, the bullpen looks really good. The rotation looks really good. The lineup looks great. You know, I think we make the postseason. It's just if we win 115 games and don't get out of the ALDS again, I'm gonna. Get, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might scream. I hope I don't want to scream though. Please don't make me scream. All right, I'll see you guys at the All Star break, and we'll take a look at the stats and go from there. We're at the All Star break, 62 and 29. This team is looking really good. Uh, best record in the MLB right now, which makes a lot of sense. The team's fantastic. Injuries. We got Darno, but. Maybe he'll be back soon. Damage knee cartilage. He's only played 17 games as a backup, so he's been all right. Looking at the lineup, tuve has been solid this year. Verdugo's having an absolutely insane season. This dude's fantastic. Cunha's having a nice year. Uh, he's healthy. Otani's been good. Devers has been great. Uh, Gavin Lux. I haven't seen... I haven't, you know, I've seen Lux play better. I've seen him hit like 290s, 300s, but it just hasn't been working out quite fight for him uh which is fine vasquez has been good uh Tony, tyler o'neill uh you know could be better and then tristan not too bad from him we'll take it uh will myers only 34 at bats this year uh marcello has been cold uh bobby though bobby's been pretty good once again uh yeah yohan's been cool all right pitching rotation has been dominant Dominant, very dominant. Garrett Cole's been pretty good. Uh, 
except well Woodruff's ERA is extremely high. I mean he's nine and three, but yeah, his ERA is terrible. Guzman, not too bad. In the middle of the bullpen's been alright. Yancy. Ah, uh, down. He's very down this year. Daniel Hudson's still doing his thing. Uh, he's gonna be a free agent, but I'm not gonna re-sign him because he's regressed a lot. Uh, Tanner's been bad this year. Uh, and then uh, John, not too bad. And then uh, Felix Bautista. It's Felix Bautista. 30 saves. 30 saves. Let's we'll see if he can get to 60 saves again. Uh, but the dude broke the save record. I can't even believe that. Single season save record. Felix Bautista. Shout out to him. But, I mean, is there any move we want to make? I, I guess now, like, Marcelo could be, you know, do I want to get a better shortstop? Uh, wow, if I get Aaron Judge. Well, I mean. I can't because I can't afford him because he's making so much damn money so much damn money but I oof, if I could get him that'd be great um nah I, I don't think there's anybody out there that's too crazy anyway like I'm kind of just looking around the league I mean Brian Reynolds would be cool but I don't want him uh, I'm, I am I again I need more of a shortstop I mean Danzy Swanson uh, again I can't afford him but he's having a good year. Trey Turner is having a really good year. Could get him. Bryce Harper on the Braves has been dominant. Yeah, I usually like to get Bryce Harper because he's usually really good, but um, we're not going to be able to get him. Corey Seager, he's amazing. Julio Rodriguez, I don't think I'll ever be able to trade for him. Yeah, all right. Well, I, yeah, I think we just keep the team the way it is. I, I like the squad. Don't break something that ain't... Don't fix something that isn't broken. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we'll be back in the postseason, which we should be. And this time, we can get out of the ALDS. Let's with the Mets. We're going to get David Peterson for Woodruff, Monk, and Langeliers. Um, Langeliers hasn't really worked out. Woodruff's been kind of struggling. And David Peterson's having a good year. And yeah, we can give him Joe Monk. Um, our, we're actually, instead of Joe Monk, what if we threw you just like my worst player in the, lead, in the on the team? Okay, that works. Actually... Chris Martin, you're in Triple A. We'll give you Chris Martin. Here you go. Yeah, we'll do Chris Martin said. And yeah, David Peterson, welcome to the team. He is a he is gonna be an expiring, but I he's gonna help out our rotation. Uh, so yeah, sorry Woodruff, you gotta go. And we've definitely improved the team uh, with Peterson. Also getting another lefty in that rotation, I think is cool too. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We're gonna be in the postseason. All right, the pressure's on in Boston. Once again, 114 wins. I mean, that's a ridiculous amount of wins. But then again, you look at our team and it's kind of crazy. Uh, Otani strikeouts. Otani war. Fantastic. Otani RBIs. Verdugo batting average. Verdugo hits. Otani base on balls. I mean, that's fantastic. See, look at Stephen Kwan, man. So inspirational. Look at Louis Giorbe, man. He is also inspirational. You can be a free agent. I might try to pick him up. I literally might pick up Luis Guillorme for the team. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Devers has been was great. Cunha was great. I mean, look at the look at the worst. Cy Young, Shohei Otani, Alex Verdugo batting title. Fantastic stuff. Mike Trout wins an MVP though again. Injury list. What do we got? We got some guys. Uh, Ref Snyder, who is not in the MLB anymore. I had a good year though. 54 uh, games, 303 batting average. Pretty solid. Unfortunately, he will not be playing. Well, yeah, he might play. But he hasn't even been in the majors anyway. Hudson, torn finger ligament. Not too bad there. Uh, lineups. Two had a solid year. Lux was all right. Cooney was great. Otani was great. Devers was great. Verdugo was great. I mean, a lot of guys are just great. Uh, by far one of my best offensive lineups, looks like, for sure. Uh, the bench not too bad as well. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it indeed. Pitching rotation uh, was extremely dominant. <laughs> I mean, not much to say. I mean, Brian Bell, uh, Brian Bell isn't that great. Uh, yeah, Yancy Almonte ended up being pretty solid. Uh, Zach Jackson stepped it up this season. Uh, Tanner was not that great this year. Bautista, how many saves? 47? All right, not 60 this year. That's fine, though. No worries. All right, we got a big, big, big series ahead of us here with Cleveland and the reason I say that is because the Guardians had 87 wins and we were the only team in the MLB with 100 wins not let alone 110 and 114 no one even had 100 
Let's see what that ha let's see what that spells out for us though. Game one, Otani versus Gavin Williams, and we win seven to two. That's what we like to see. Good start. Game two, Julio versus Tristan, and we lose that one one nothing. Tough game. Our bats went cold. Kenzie was amazing. Uh, now Julio pitched well, but we got to be able to hit. Game three, Cole versus Tuki, and we win that one eight to four. To make up run for Garrett Whitlock. We win 14-1. So we are in the ALCS take on either the White Sox or the Angels. And it's going to be the Angels. All right. Angels with Logan Webb for game number one versus Otani. Former team loses 4-0. Okay. Uh, we got to get, get more than five hits, guys. Score some runs. Julio versus Mike Kopech. Game two, we lose 4-1. So we're down 2-0. Makes sense. Game three, Cole versus Suarez. And we're going to get swept. No, we're not. Okay, good. Okay, we didn't get swept. Tani with the shutout. Needed that from him. Uh, but we're down 3-1. to one. Well, Let's just take a look at the Angels' record. They were 93-win team. Okay. Not that that really matters, but just... We got we to gotta come back down 3-0 again. Red Sox have done it before in 2004. Will they do it here? Whitlock versus Sandoval. We win 2-1. to one. Okay, game six. Julio versus Webb. We win... Two to one, Cole versus Michael. And we are in the World Series. Okay, wow, we came back from 3-0. Taking on the Braves, man. The Braves. This is a good team. We honestly, we gave the Braves really good players. Um, so it makes sense that this team is in the in the World Series. Um, I screwed myself over by giving them such a good team. For tr trying to like because I was so hell-bent on getting Acuna, man. Because I, I got him. And I'm just, like, so mad. But, yeah. I mean, Harper's really good. They got Bobby Witt. I thought I gave them Bo. I don't know. I thought I gave them somebody else. They also have Randy Rosarino. Wow, this is a really good team, man. All right. Game one. Otani versus Strider. We lose 13-12. That's a tough one to swallow. Okay. Game two. Julio versus Freed. We win 13-2. Okay. Game three. Cole versus Wright. We lose 6-4. to four. Game four, Whitlock versus Ian Anderson. We lose 15 to two, okay? Game five, Otani versus Freed, and we lose the World Series. Fantastic. But we got one more season, so it's not too bad, but dang, man. We make a trade with the Braves to get Acuna, and we end up losing to them. I, I, you know, I deserve that. I deserve that. I mean, Otani was playoff MVP. Bader was the World Series MVP. Austin Riley, okay. Honestly, it wasn't even because I gave him the Bryce Harper for free. All right. Well, I didn't give him for free. Uh, in the playoffs, uh, Gavin Lux, man. I'm I'm worried, buddy. I'm worried. You got to be better than what, you're be, what you've been. What's going on? Some of these bats went a little bit cold here in the postseason. Travis Darnot was good. Marcelo was great. Uh, but, yeah, there's some guys that kind of struggled a little bit. The pitching, uh, Otani... I would have liked a little bit better out of him. Julio was really good. Garrett struggled. Both Garretts. Gar Garrett and Garrett. Uh, struggling. Dave Peterson didn't even get to pitch. Damn. I don't know why Brian pitches so much. Uh, Dylan Dodd also should not be pitching. <laughs> but he was. Yeah, mm, our pitching kind of let me down a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Felix Bautista. He only pitched two innings in the postseason. That's crazy. All right, well, we got one more season. So we got to get the job done or I would consider this a failure because we went 115, 114 games. We couldn't win a World Series. So we got to get the job done next year. We got to do it. All right. So we're at free agency. There's really not much I'm going to be able to do in this free agency class. I don't have a lot of money at all, really. So we're just going to try to get everybody that we can back. I mean, the only thing I could do is maybe try to move some guys here, finesse some trades. I, mean, I guess it's possible they could do that. Um... I could. I could. I mean, if there's any bad contracts that I might want to move, maybe Travis Darno because he's 38, could move him. Uh, Ref Snyder, we could move because he is 36. It would free up a little bit of money there, but uh, I, 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 don't, I think we're good, though. I think I'm just going to try to re-sign our guys like Whitlock, Lox, Peterson. Those are the big guys, and then Triver as well, and a few other guys we're going to get back on arbitration, tend to the contracts, and We'll kind of just go from there. If we want to make a move at the start of the season or at the trade deadline next year, that works for me. Or all-star break, whatever you want to call it. But that's really about it. So I'll see you guys uh, 
you know, the, I guess, start of the fifth and final season, unless something big happens, I need to tell you guys before then. Final season, uh, let's take a look at the team and see what we got. So, I mean, the lineup is pretty much the same. I didn't make any moves uh, here to get any position players back. For the most part, we just brought back everybody that we could. And again, I like the team. It looks solid on, on paper. So, we should be good again. The question is, can we do well in the postseason? Got to steal the deal. Get the World Series. Uh, pitching rotation. I did add Taylor Rogers to the bullpen. So, that's cool. Uh, but other than that, it's the same team as last season to end the year. So, can we do it? Can we get the job done in our fifth and final season? This team has the talent to do so. We've been, we've won 115 games and 114 games the last two seasons. I expect us to win a lot this year if we stay healthy. So let's see what ends up happening. I'll see you guys at the All-Star break and we'll go from there. Break 57 and 32, the team's looking good. Uh, we have some injuries here. Uh, Travis Darno, fractured wrist. That is unfortunate. I should have moved him knew it uh but that's okay it's not that not that big of a deal so he's gonna be gone he hasn't had a good year anyway he's gonna be on for a month uh lineup wise verdugo's once again amazing gavin luck's not too bad uh devers has been really good acuna has been struggling this year which is not good uh tani's been good tuve's also been struggling tristan's been great uh o'neill and vasquez have been all right uh will myers off the bench when he plays he's good uh Bobby's been kind of bad. Marcelo. Eh, it's, it, it, it's a mixed bag. It's not too bad. Listen, we're 57 and 32, which is, uh, one, we are one of the better teams in the MLB. Uh, some of the Baroness with the eight wins. Okay, I mean, it works for me. Uh, let's take a look at the pitching rotation. We've got Julio absolutely lighting it up. Tani's been pretty solid. Whitlock's been not too bad. Pearson's been good. Garrett Cole has been good as well. Uh, Guzman in the bullpen has been great as a long relief pitcher. The middle of the bullpen looks good. Uh, Tanner has been I Could be better. Felix Bautista has been a little bit off this year. Maybe he can uh, redeem himself post-All-Star break. Uh, is there any move you want to make? I, I guess if I could get a... Do I want a better catcher? I don't know if it's going to be even possible to get one. Um, but if I did something like this... Are there any good catchers out there? Three catchers for the price of one. Uh, I don't think so. Henry Davis. No. Alejandro Kirk. Can't afford him. Bo Naylor. You get Bo Naylor. From Cleveland. He's had a good year. What are the app troops? The no, attributes aren't too bad. Do I want to get Bo Naylor? Is that the guy I want to get? Um, Mejia has been really good. MJ Melendez has been really good, but he hasn't played that much. Uh, Logan O'Hop. Barely played. I'm kind of just looking around the league. There's anybody that, that's really good. Obviously, Tyler Stevenson is great. Uh, Francisco Alvarez has been solid. I think we just rock with the team. Ruiz, he, he could be a good guy to pick up from the Nationals. Do I want to get him? William Contreras from the Brewers. I mean, I'm close to being able to get him. They need a second baseman. What if I threw in... Ooh, I'm close. I'm close to getting it. Nick York. And then... What would... What else would... What would move the needle here for you? This guy, Rafaela. So if I did that and you gave me William Contreras, Tyler Black, or Alan Anderson, I mean, we're basically just swapping second basements and catches and I'm giving you an extra center fielder. Uh, would you Jose Siri instead? Ah, damn it, he wouldn't. Okay. You know what? Sure. We'll do this deal. We're going to get William Contreras from the Brewers uh, for and Alan Anderson for Vasquez, York, and... Rafael. I mean, if I can get this without Vasquez, um, I can't because of the money. I can't trade Darno. So yeah, I, I'm gonna have to move Vasquez. I think. Do I do that, man? That's tough because Vasquez. Vasquez has been pretty solid, but he is 36. So yeah, we're gonna do this deal with the Brewers. All right, I'm done making moves. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Dominant as, as as the past two seasons. Only 97, 65. Still won our division and take on the win of the wildcard playoff games. I can't be mad at that. 
and the team was still really good good enough to be again best team in the east or not in the east well yeah in the al east but the best team in the al of course the braves had the best record in the AL, uh, nl so they're a good team as well league leaders julio had the best era david winning, david peterson best winning percentage verdugo led the league in hits uh so that's cool of course Dever, uh devers is on the il love that um when he's having a great season that is so tough that is so tough how long has he gone for oh you gotta be kidding me and so is otani god dang it man and otani was having a pretty solid year well two of our better players both on the il just gonna make it even harder to win you can't you can't make this up man uh the team otherwise looks pretty good uh dude shout out marcella man he's been pretty good uh, yo Yohan, i mean tyler o'neill hasn't been that great either this year uh will myers pretty solid off the bench bobby not bad travis darno back but not that great Pitching rotation-wise, Julio had a great year. So did David Peterson. Garrett Willock was good. Garrett Cole, not bad. Brain, not that great at all. Um, I'm a little worried about how the postseason is going to be for us. I mean, we'll see. It's going to be tough. Um, let's see. Who do we got? We got the Orioles in the first round. Uh, so the ALDS. Julio Arias versus Justice Sheffield. Uh, let's take a look at the standings here. How good were the Orioles? 91 wins. Not, actually, not not far off from us. But we're going to have to do this without Otani and Devers. It's going to be tough. Those are two bats and a pitcher that we're not going to be able to have. So, a little bit scared. Game one, uh, Julio versus Justice. We win 9-2. to two. Nice. Game two, Peterson versus Rodriguez. We lose 3-2. to two. And I imagine we were up that game and blew it. No, we weren't up. Okay. Game three, Whitlock versus D.L. Hall. We, lose, we win 5-3. Game four, Cole bring us to the ALCS, and he does with a 6 nothing shutout. And he pitched great. I love that. We're taking on the Rays now. We got Julio versus McClanahan. Game one, Julio loses that for us, 8-2. to two. That's not what I like to see. We got Bradley versus Peterson. We win that one 4-3. Nice. Whitlock versus Mike Soroka. We win 3-0 on a shutout from uh, Whitlock. He pitched the entire game. He did not, but Bautista got the save. Okay? I saw his ERA. It was terrible. Game four, Garrett Cole versus Zach Eflin. And we win that one 10-2. Can we get back to the World Series? Julio versus Shane McClanahan. We can. And it's going to be either the Marlins or the Reds. It's going to be the Reds. Okay, I don't even know who's on the Reds anymore. I, I Well, yeah, I have no idea who's on this team. Uh, so let's take a look. I'm just curious to see how, how they got here. Uh, oh, they got Kyle Tucker now. Uh, oh, they got Bo. Did I trade them Bo? No, I gave I gave Bo I gave up Bo to Atlanta. I gave him yeah I gave him up to Atlanta, and then he left Atlanta to go to Cincinnati. Okay. Man, yeah, they have a good team. All right, game one, Julio versus Hunter. We win four to two. Game two, Peterson versus Nick Lodolo. We lose five to six. Okay. Were we up that game? We were. Nah. Uh, we were not. Okay. Game three. Whitlock versus Dylan Lesko. We win three to two. Game four. Cole versus Patino. We lose seven to five. Game five. Julio versus Christian. We win six to five. Can we win in six with David Peterson on the bump? We can. Took us five seasons. But we got the job done. It took us five seasons. And again, Taylor Rogers, good pickup. All right, let's see. Awards. Alex Verdugo, World Series MVP. Ronald Acuna Jr., that is why we picked you up. Playoff MVP, that is what we like to see. Uh, also, shout out to uh, Yon for being a good signing as well. And Jose Altuve, I traded for him because he's pretty good. And he was third up, third in the third in the vote. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are st uh, elbow tightness for Peterson. Oh, Otani ended up being back? Oh, we could have easily added Shohei Otani on this team. Damn, okay. Probably should have had him on the playoff roster. Shoot. Oh, well. 
We did it without Otani. <laughs> okay, well, lineup wise, uh, just looking at some of the performers. I mean, Verdugo was great in the World Series. Um, Acuna overall was really good, probably our best player, uh, which makes sense. And the bench is the bench. Rotation wise, these guys are curious. Man, Dylan Dodd, oh, gross. Garrett Whitlock was excellent. Julio was great. Uh, Garrett Cole was lights out as well. And yeah, Peterson was average at best. Bullpen, pretty solid. Bautista struggled though. So did John Trevor. He, he wasn't very good either. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. We won a World Series in our fifth and final season. It, it took us five years, but hey, we'll take it. I guess that being said, full screen close of the video. Right, well, this was definitely a whirlwind of emotions video. Um, but that was partially my fault because the game crashed. Uh, but either way, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you did. Comment down below the video. Socials, play a second channel, main channel, down in the description. If you look at the content of me, TJP. I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace.